Now that I've designed the first label in the table for Word to use as the model for all of the labels, I'm going to preview my labels to make sure they look like I want them to before printing. To do this, on the Mailings tab in the Preview Results group, I click Preview Results to see what the actual label will look like for the first name in my recipient list. The address information from the data source has replaced the placeholder merge field. I can click the forward arrow button in the Preview Results group to preview the label for each recipient in the first cell of the table. Because I sorted the recipient list by postal code, that's how the names appear here. If I want to find a particular recipient at any point during the preview process, I click Find Recipient and type the name in the Find box. I can search for any information contained in the label. To speed up the search, I specify the kind of information I'm searching for. I click Find Next, and without reordering the list, Word displays the first label that matches the search criteria in the upper left cell of the table. If I see a recipient I want to exclude from the list, I go to the Start Mail Merge group, click Edit Recipient List, and clear the checkbox for that recipient. At this point, or at any point before printing, I can apply formatting changes by selecting the text and making the changes, just as I would to any text. For example, I don't want as much space between the address lines, so I'll switch over to the Home tab and, in the Paragraph group, reduce the spacing between paragraphs. And a couple of the address lines are running long, so, in the Font group, I'll reduce the font size. Then I'll switch back to the Mailings tab again. When I've finished previewing the labels and making changes, I save the document. Then, on the Mailings tab, in the Finish group, I click Finish and Merge. If I want to print the labels immediately, I click Print Documents. I can print all of the labels, just the current label, which is the one in the upper left cell, or a subset of labels. Word numbers the labels consecutively, from left to right and from top to bottom. Before printing, I make sure that I've loaded the label sheets in the tray of my printer. I check the printer settings so that, for example, I print the correct number of copies. I might want to click Properties to check further settings before printing. When I'm ready, I click OK and watch those labels roll off the press. The next time I open my mail merge document, Word will ask if I want to reconnect to my data source. I won't have to worry about keeping the addresses for the labels up to date because any changes I've made in my Excel worksheet will automatically be reflected in the labels. Before we finish, here's a tip. Let's say I'm going to have my labels printed at my local print shop and I don't want to have to give them a copy of my data source. Then I'd click Finish and Merge, click Edit Individual Documents, and then click OK. Word creates another document with the same label information, only now it's normal text which is not connected to the data file. Instead of merge fields, it contains ordinary text, which I can edit right on the label. I can save this file and print it whenever I want.